You've brought a couple guests. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! Ah! No! 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 Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! We, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. You just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. 
It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now. You're right, man. That boy's a time bomb. Then it's settled. Lee? This is my boy, Lee. My boy! We can't! I'm sorry, Kenny. He's right. This is about survival. No, he's not bitten. Look! Look, he's clean! Not a scratch! Not a goddamn scratch. What do you think about that? It's Larry. And I'm fucking sorry. Good. Look, we're fish in a barrel here. With all the commotion, we could be under siege any minute. Then we better start fortifying this place. I'll work on getting that window barricaded. Good. Dad, sit down. I'm fine, Lily. Dad, please. All right. <coughs> <coughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shit. Uh, uh, uh. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I... I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to.
It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Don't even come over here. Kenny? No, cat. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son to the wolves. Stop that, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. I'm sorry, Katja. What if he... It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee, I need to know that you're on my side. Yeah, I am, of course. Good. Thank you. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're... Uh gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Find anything? No, nothing. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? 
The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it.